Welcome back to my channel guys. If it's your first time, make sure you subscribe and join the family. Welcome into 24 hours on call with me. I usually wake up at around 5 a.m. pretty much every day except when I've slacked. And first things first is devotional time, reading the Bible, reading this devotional. I usually start with a prayer and honestly guys this week God has been really reminding me to watch my mouth reminding me to watch the things that I say the things that I meditate on because you know the power of the tongue guys anyway so after that I do my bed head into the shower and start getting ready so after this you know just doing my hair I need to um, have contacts on pretty much every single day also I do have an uninvited little guest on my nose um, but yeah my makeup routine for work is pretty simple really just the eyebrows and that's all um, now I'm just getting my things ready for um, work usually pretty simple laptop tablet and yeah an extra top because it's uh, Call night and then yeah I'm getting ready and that's it so next thing is breakfast I usually like to have bread butter and jam but this day I did not have that so I had eggs fried tomato and avocado avocado is literally the best thing ever guys if it isn't for you it is for me and yeah at this time I usually like to be scrolling on my phone you know getting a little bit distracted and now I'm packing um, a few things for my lunch slash dinner you know fruits drinks all of that good stuff and I'm basically on my way to work I usually keep my lab coat at work so when I get to work I just immediately pop that on I just take it home once in a while to wash it and that's yeah, all. Yeah, I'm so sorry, the lighting is not so good, but anyway, um, I'm just putting on my lap coat right now and then I'm about to start the day, so it's currently 7.50ish and clinic starts at 8. Today is a clinic day, it's a Thursday, so we go and see outpatient patients, um, you know, adjust their medications, admit if it's necessary, although most of the time they're like quite stable, they don't need to be admitted. But yeah, it's not a lot of work to work. So because I am on call, I am also at the emergency, the psychiatric emergency. So I'm kind of working, I'm going to be working in between the two. Clinic usually finishes around lunchtime. So hopefully if there's not a lot of people, we might even finish early. In the meantime, yeah, so order of the day, first I go clinic, see patients there, and then any admissions or any patients that come through emergency, they'll call me and I'll have to go review them and um, decide if they should be admitted or not, or if they should follow some next management. Yo, guys, why is it that emergency is already flooded and it's only morning, y'all? Like, I'm so... <laughs> what? Like, I literally left the changing room and immediately emergency was flooding. Now I'm going to clinics. I actually... Like, we're actually a little bit understaffed today, so... I'm about to go and cover the child ward and do the round there. I was supposed to go to clinic, but... I'm gonna go to the children's ward and do the round there and then from there I mean just go to clinic or go back to emergency if there's any emergency oh anyway I'm currently walking to the child's ward <laughs> I'm coming <laughs> hey! Uh huh! Uh huh! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Guys, psych patients are low key so adorable. <laughs> like, literally, they'll be seeing you from those windows and they start calling you out. 
anyway um yeah so i just finished with the children's ward now i'm i passed by emergency nothing's going on thank god i'm hoping i have a very peaceful chilled call but i'm on my way it's currently 11 25 or 30. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. You guys, I'm not even joking. Today has been quite the day. First of all, can you hear this? There's been fights. There's a fight that broke out in one of the wards. Y'all, today has been quite the day. I did mention that I'm in psychiatry, right? Now it's currently 2.30 p.m. So far, I've seen quite some patients in the emergency. And then there was that fight that broke off, which um, the nurses and security took care of. And even the patient that I was having was also not quite stable. So, yeah, admitted him. Um, what else did I do? Yeah, and then, you know, the clinics that I told you that I did earlier. Anyway, so now it is afternoon. It's oh, let me tell you guys. Ha! Huh? Okay, so let me tell you guys. So today I found out that today is shouting day in this hospital, and I was like, "What is shouting day?" Because I don't know what shouting day is. I'm like, "What is shouting day?" And they're like, "You shout." I was like, "Huh?" So this, I asked this doctor, and she's telling me like, "Yeah, we go and we shout and complain and." I was like, okay, but stop joking. I mean, like, what does it mean? Like, what do people do on shouting day? Kumbe. People really just go and talk about their feelings. It's like group therapy. Like, if you have anything that's bothering you, if you don't like someone, if you feel like you've been offended by someone, if you've been hurt by someone, so this is among the stuff, right? You go and there's like this huge meeting where everybody talks about their feeling and everybody talks about how they feel so that they can be free and you know kind of release certain things. Hey guys, hey, please tell me if there's shouting there in Rwanda because yo, let me tell you, I'm quite impressed. I was like, this is so good for people's mental health, like for the health professionals in, in um in the hospital like this is so good like people really go and because you know when you work in the hospital you you really spend a lot of time with people and it's all about relationships so you are bound to have like misunderstandings with certain people or like you just get offended in certain ways here and there you never know and I was like I was so impressed guys I was like wow y'all have a day where you talk about your feelings as staff of the hospital and this is not just like a small department this is like the entire hospital nurses orderlies doctors literally everybody so yeah i'm quite impressed anyway we are about to eat some food and then relax watch some youtube and hopefully not be called to emergency <laughs> so the thing is the room that i'm in it's right next to the emergency so if anything happens they'll call me um that's basically what being on call means like if there's a patient they'll call you so they'll call me um for now i can rest eat relax hopefully i'll have a peaceful afternoon and then later on in the afternoon i want to read uh, it depends on how my brain feels because right now my brain feels exhausted so i don't know but i do want to sit and read um, some material some psychiatry material and then, yeah anyway i'm very hungry so guys mm. i told you i was gonna eat right <laughs> yeah, as soon as I ate, like I did not even finish eating. When I was just about to finish eating, I literally was called to emergency and then there was just back to back.
I'm actually quite tired right now. It's um, I think it's around 6 p.m. now. I'm tired. I feel like I have a. I don't know. Like my nose is running from one side, and I have this headache. I think I'm coming down with something, but I hope not. In Jesus' name, I'm not coming down with anything. I hope it's just me being tired. Um, but yeah, my nose is running on one side, so it's a bit annoying, and my head is also aching. So I think that's what's making me feel more tired, because usually I'll be fine at this time. Listen. I told y'all I was going to read, but honestly, there's no mood for reading. I'm about to change into a scrub top, get more comfortable, and maybe lay down a little bit. Hopefully, I don't get cold again. Oh. Okay. So, this is my blanket. Now, I'm done. It's a bit more quiet now, being that there is most of the patients are now asleep. So thank God, it's a bit more quiet. Um, yeah, so I usually have this blanket here. I keep it here, and then I take it home for washing, and then I just keep it here. So this is my blanket for the night here, because it can get cold and. You know me, I don't even like to sleep without covering up. Like, please tell me this. Hey, let's talk about this. Are you one of those people who cannot sleep if you're not covered? Like, you need something heavy on your body for you to sleep. That's me. Yeah. I literally, even when it's hot, y'all, like, sometimes when it's hot and I'm in Burundi or like even in Rwanda sometimes, like, even in Dar es Salaam. Yo, sometimes I literally have a whole blanket and people be like, are you crazy? But I'm like, I literally can't sleep if I don't have anything here. So, yeah, uh, anyway, I think honestly, I'm only about to upload my YouTube video that I edited. By the way, I have a video that came out yesterday. If you have not watched it, please go and watch it. And also, the one I'm uploading will have gone up before before this one so i'm uploading one that's coming out next week and then this one will come out after that one so you better be watching all these videos because yo i can be out here suffering and you guys not watching my videos period yeah anyway i'm tired of you like i didn't want to go sleep i think i should stop saying that i'm tired because i feel like it might be making me tired the whole We just did a post call round in the morning. I'm about to go to morning meeting in 30 minutes. Yeah, 30 minutes. I'll go to morning meeting and then after morning meeting, I'll go home. Because you, your girl cannot be bothered. She's tired. I need to also buy bread on the way home. So anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed this vlog. I hope that it was quite entertaining or i hope it made sense you know what i mean and i hope you guys just love the vlog yeah please give me a like and subscribe at least if you've watched until this point come on now subscribe or give me a like and so that other people can also see my videos and i appreciate you guys so much <sighs> bye I know I'll be telling you guys bye in a more excited way, but I literally don't have energy. Bye! <laughs>